Mm. Yes. 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 I'm gonna have to arrange these into notes and then maybe I'll play you a song. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. No. Welcome to Crossing It Off, the show where we're completing 50 travel bucket list experiences because the world is big and life is short. We're your host Tim and Finn and today we're crossing off drinking wine. Lots and lots of wine in Tuscany. This episode is sponsored by you. Thank you to the thousands of you who've supported this channel through a purchase of trip travel gear. Whether you're packing for the weekend or here on a one-way ticket, thanks for taking trip. I'm going to have a long holiday, drink an absurd amount of wine, eat till I can't move, and end each day watching the sun set over rolling hills. A little indulgent, no? I'm going to Tuscany. Same exact energy, just now, classy. Yes, olive trees, castles, farm to fork restaurants, endless wine tastings, and a 17 foot tall naked man. Tuscany has something for everyone. Wining and dining in Tuscany, we're here for it, and I think we found the perfect spot to do both. We're staying a week in Italy's Chianti region, and while you can wine and dine to your heart's content just about every kilometer of road, we were looking for a one-day full experience, you know, to film it for YouTube. Yesterday, I stumbled on the website of Tenuta Torsiano, a family-owned winery with loads of day experiences like wine tasting and tasting menu, but also vineyard tours, cooking classes, helicopter rides, and even truffle hunting. We booked ask permission to bring a camera and the rest well you've got to watch this <laughs> and don't consider my nephew crazy when he'll go to uh, to tell you the glass of four and a half five eight mm, 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 mm. <laughs> try to understand the reasons that we are okay. doing this because wine in my culture it is not uh, only something to drink it is poetry fantasy and love Meet Pier Luigi, a 13th generation winemaker and San Gimignano local legend who prefers to introduce himself first and foremost as a farmer. While we certainly felt like we were walking into a VIP treatment being greeted by the man himself, I can tell you that all guests that day were being personally greeted by either Pier Luigi or a member of his extended family working at the vineyard. Today, I'm extremely sorry. But you have to work for one hour. Oh, okay, that's fair. <laughs> Your that's fair. job, it will be to start <laughs> to, uh, to test uh, the cheese and the white wine, and the oil and the white, the salad and the white, the salami and the white, my mother ribolita and the white, my mother lasagna and the white, and write uh, <laughs> on the paper. What is the best combination for you and for you with the white wine? The, the tower in the right uh, is uh, the common tower. The tower in the left is my house. No way! No. Yes. We saw yes. that driving in a town. Yes. Oh my god. Wait, so let me guess, because I think I know some of the story. There are how many? Twelve? In the start, it was 113. Oh. In the Second World War, it was bombed by the enemies, and they, they, they cut, they killed the bomb. Now, just the 13 towers. Oh, 13. And uh, uh, some towers are also small towers, but we consider towers. Just a, so to we'll remember. show you here in this drone shot. There's now 13 towers. One of them, of course, your home. Another yes. one, did you know, is an Airbnb that you can yes. rent out and stay in. So yes. if you would like to be neighbors, <laughs> then they can come be your neighbor for the weekend yes. and then come over and visit the, the wine. Second, the second Airbnb is the, the twin tower. Okay. It's the Gemelle. Ah, okay. The Gemelle. The Gemelle. Yes. yes. <laughs> second, I'd like to show you where the wine came from, from the start to the end. Because wine, it is not something oh, that we purchase in the supermarket or in the restaurant. Wine is a culture, and I'd like to introduce you this culture. We're honored, thank you. Ready? All right, wow. Please. Coming up on Crossing It Off. Oh my goodness! 
Oh my God! Turn the camera off, man. I need to have a moment. Happy Thanksgiving from both of us, and Pepper too. We're grateful you choose to spend time with us and be part of the community, especially considering that you're only a click away from a cat video. We'd like to say thank you by inviting you to join our holiday celebration, the 12 days of tripped miss. I know marketing geniuses over here with 12 days of December giveaways on our email list. Just head over to triptravelgear.com forward slash subscribe. That's triptravelgear.com slash subscribe to enter to win and join our list. Now, back to the show. It's certainly lovely to be greeted with a breakfast wine. I begin to comment on our special moment, having Rosé and meeting the owner. But little did I know we had a full day we were about to embark on from projects. This is so cool. We're getting the behind the scenes look at all of the new event space. And this really cool new cellar is going to be a place to come and do the tastings or have a wedding. To the olive grove. And these are the olive trees. I love uh, olive trees, and I love olives, and I love olive oil. <laughs> yes, these are, uh, the name of this plant is uh, moraiolo. Moraiolo. Yes, uh, moraiolo because it gives uh, a good quality in the uh, southeast position. And then how long does it take for an olive to become this, ripe? This, uh, more or less, uh, in end of October, we, we can start uh, to pick up uh, the olives, okay. more or less. But uh, the fruit, it will be little acid. So we need to have a small quantity and the fruit has to be less acid and more around. Wow. You see, oh, so the riper, the better. Yes. To the garden. Not only is every tour private, but there's more than just wine tasting here. You can come and take cooking classes and you'll come out to the gardens and pick your own produce and go learn how to cook. And next, the oldest vine on the property where we shared this moment. Look. Beautiful. You see, this grapes here, this is very natural. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you meant, but. <laughs> I don't know if uh, yeah, it's good or not, but uh, yeah, it's not uh, ready. It's not uh, very ready. Uh, it will be ready next week. Oh. Next week. Uh, oh, next week. Uh, it's uh, 75, 76 years old. Oh. It's like uh, it's like us uh, when we have uh, 250 years, more or less. Oh, my gosh. The bubble sugar has to arrive to be 26, 27. Oh. That means uh, 12 uh, more or less uh, of as a volume as uh, alcohol in, inside. So, oh, right. okay. understood? That's so yeah, we but that's so specific. I mean, Brava. almost down to Brava. the day. Brava. So. Wow. And then off to the private Super Tuscany cellar. We are in the cellar of the Super Tuscany. And Super Tuscany are the highest expression of our knowledge. Eh? Eh, could be single grape, could be multiple grape. But eh, we need the knowledge to combine with. Wow, I love how you said that though. The, yes. sing, uh, the combination of all of our knowledge. Yes. The highest expression. Bravo, the highest of expression. Our knowledge. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at that huge bottle. As, uh, you can see, this. Uh, it is a, 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 it was a, an old cellar and that after uh, we use it for uh, wine tasting. All the bottles has the numbers. This is uh, my family crest. Uh, all the bottles has the numbers and we cannot produce more than 6,000 bottles if you wanted to participate to the special event area. It's the only one we, where we can maintain our secret. If we write one grape, we have five grapes inside. <laughs> Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot and Syrah. Wow. Yes. They say the world champion five times. Uh, world champion five times means, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> because uh, because uh, doesn't uh, mean nothing. Because uh, maybe somebody like, but oh, if you don't good. like, this wine for you could be pee pee. <laughs>
to produce this kind of wines, we really need knowledge. This is the base of our high expression. Oh my the goodness, quality. look at yes. this label. Yes, Ooh. this uh, is a special label, a special label that uh, my wife, uh, my wife uh, thought uh, for this kind of quality. This is a real high quality. Wow. And I like your family crest here, that's beautiful. Somebody gave to me 300 years ago. But, uh, <laughs> but that's all his That's blah. So, uh, to find this, we need a great, uh, great uh, noise, nose, sure. great nose. And important it is uh, that when uh, 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 we use it in the past, uh, the pigs, uh, a lot of people without the hands, uh, because uh, the truffle is like a drug for a pig, uh, lot of, uh, and the pig, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> but, but to have uh, uh, like uh -huh. this... Uh, I think Pepper's learning. <laughs> Are you learning? Okay, we wait here. Okay, now you can film, you can film how they come to Okay, it. great. Oh! Hi! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Happy! These are truffle dogs! Hi guys! These dogs have jobs! Oh, you guys are workers! Oh, they match! <laughs> Absurd! Que super ju de la tesaracha! Eh, I miei cani sono abituati a mangiare sempre. The girls. Oh. Le femmine sono meglio in tutto. The girls are better in everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Ciao, Bella. The dogs were off on their truffle hunt. Pepper helping, of course. Granted, she had no idea what she was doing, but she gets points for effort. I feel like you guys are pranking me right now. Like I thought you had to dig them up underground, so they're just okay. To clean, we need to clean, and after, and after. Allora, molto bene, molto bene. Oh, ciao, Moreno, grazie. The worker has to work. Absolutely. And after he has to take two of these, and after two of these we do this. Uh -huh. Instead of by the machinery, by the fit, they'll do to do the stamping. Absolutely. That is the experience. So, <laughs> who is uh, that is work? Uh, I think that uh, I feel like I'm on it. Oh, yeah. A lot of people know Allison Finney Deemer as an albatross expert, but she has now processed, well, she's about to have processed wine on two different continents. How does that feel? I should, like, I should know more. Yeah. <laughs> For how many wineries, breweries, and distilleries we've been to, we, we definitely I've should know more. I've never cut grapes, so I am so, novice. You have to do attention. Do not do this. Okay, okay that's a good because idea. Because uh, I think that is a good idea. Okay. So, <laughs> when uh, we, we, we work, we work, for example, to take this, we do this. Okay. We do this, and after we take from this, and we cut uh, here. Okay. Done. Don't do this. Uh, don't do, because uh, it's not good. No, it, it ruins good. the good time probably. <laughs> good luck. Okay, but not a competition. I'll go. No, without this. competition. Now, yeah. just uh, to understand how we pick up the grape all by hands. Okay. Wow. Good luck. Go ahead. Good luck. Please uh, do slowly. Okay. Do slowly. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. After this. Is there a good Brav. place to Perfetto. cut it or anywhere? Perfect. Anywhere. Right. Anywhere. Take it. Okay. You have to search. Yes. Yeah. Search. Where's yes. Where are coming from? Hey, you are right. You are right. Brava. Brava. Bravissima. Brava. Brava. Done. Brava. Done. And after this. Get this one. No grape left behind. Pay attention to the finger. <laughs> Always pay attention to the finger. Yeah, that's the most important. And now, and now, and now, and now, and now. Get that one close. Now, yeah, get ready, that one close. Done. Yeah, Whoa, there you go. Look at how many come off. Done. That's a lot. That is a great. Wait, 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 wait. And now, you can <gasps> test it. You can okay. test it. Let's you try. can test it. Good I'm going to do it again. Good luck. <laughs> that one's not a weak. Mm -hmm. That is a. Uh, 
the sugar is enough or is a yeah, little nice. le lemonade? Oh, yeah, that's so, kind of So, because like if lemonade. we, is a, look, it's a little lemonade. Oh. It's not ready. Yeah. Maybe it will be ready if the sun is like this one week, ten days, because too much lemonade. Every, every day, day just every day, it. just one. Not ready. And then it's just you. You just walk around eating grapes and say, no, no, today. No. Okay, everybody go. N not today. <laughs> today I think that it's ready. Mm -hmm. We do a chemical analysis. Oh, okay, yeah. If the chemical analysis tell yes, yes. Tell no, uh, uh, other days. Wow. Depends on the sun. You have to speak with him. Because, uh, for example, if uh, tomorrow rain, we need other 20 days oh, before yeah. to be ready. Right. Because it has to come back at the sun. I'm just sitting here eating these. They're very good. <laughs> but you have to work. Okay, I have to work. <laughs> yes. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, that one came off. Right. Pepper, are you helping? Good job, Pepper. And grapes are poisonous to dogs, so don't let your dog eat any grapes. <laughs> good. Finn, you got two baskets to do today. And there. Yeah, yes. just dump. Yes, yes, yes. Done. This is the face. Very good. Easy. <laughs> and now, Princess, uh, I'm sorry, but. Uh, Shoe time. Shoes out. Shoes time. Shoe, shoes time. Okay, <laughs> I have to work. Yes, your job, uh, if you want, I can help you. Okay, lovely. Okay. And after, you can enter inside. Okay. Yes. And after, done, done. You have to dance fast, slowly, and after, a little faster, but you start slowly. Okay, eh? ready? Please. Good <laughs> luck. Good <laughs> luck. That, yes, oh that's, my is gosh, that's, 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 that's the way. That's the way. That's the way. That's the way. That's the okay, way. Okay, I don't think maybe your 140 employees are doing this. <laughs> no, no, that is the old system. That is the old system. Maybe it's artisanal. All the system that uh, we are doing this. We are doing this by a special machinery. Special, <laughs> the big machine that you did there. There are oh, press. Where we saw the These are press. But they are not ready and we can do different <laughs> right now. So, and now, okay. okay. Now, like, like, this, okay. like this. When everything is, uh, is very well crushed, please also here. Okay, yeah. Yes, please, please go there. <laughs> now you need the. Allora! <laughs> <laughs> We're on limited Italian here. Dance the music that you like to dance. Yes. Because better you dance, better it will be the, the better it will be the, the This is part of the made with love. Part, <laughs> yes. Right? It's kind of nice because it's warm outside and they're cool. <laughs> Yeah, really bad news. <laughs> That's only about half a glass. Uh, okay. Done. Okay. <laughs> Done. Uh, 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 I think. Uh, okay. And after, and after, and after. Okay. Done. Now you can clean. Perfect. <laughs> We're about to dig into quite the tasting here this morning. Sorry, it's afternoon now. I've had an apple to eat today, so I'm probably gonna get really smart really fast here. Oh, you have gluten-free bread? Yes, madam. No way. Oh here my goodness. Of course. <gasps> Oh you, my gosh, I'm going to get we, really excited. We are excited. in Italy, so, and oh. you are here in the wine, we want to give to everybody the possibility to eat everything wow. and to taste everything. Wow. So no worries about that. That's <laughs> incredible. Thanks. Okay. Wow. I want to see how you take your glass of wine first. Okay. I'm just going to copy you. Mm. And then just, just do what Bucci She doesn't like do. how you did it. Oh. <laughs> no. So, correct, but not correct. Remember guys, never like this because like after that. you will warm up all the wine, okay? Mostly now that it's summer and you are very warm also, of course it's like the hot beer and it will destroy your stomach. Mostly now it's summer, so okay. not good. It's not an umbrella, <laughs> so we don't drink like this, right? So this is not good at all. So always take it from the bottom, okay. right? This is more elegant and start to score. Down here. So, yes, or like this. Bravissima. I, yeah, 
Bravissima! Wow! Oh my goodness! So okay. she, she's You've been bravissima all day. Exactly, this is the best way. Three fingers down, one up, and close with your thumb like she's done, like oh. she did. Oh just, my gosh. She's an excellent drinker. Uh, I can tell that. <laughs> and start to swore. So it's more comfortable to, to take. Remember guys, every time you swore, okay, the oxygen, so the air comes inside the wine and it takes out all the flavor. So try to swore. One, two, three, and then. Oh. oh, so you want to smell it while it's swirling almost. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you course, recognize course, some smell course. inside? I'm getting hints of apple. Apple? Definitely grapes. There's oh. a girl in the vineyard. Uno. <laughs> so bad at... Due. E tre. E tre. Take it to your nose. Wow. Boom. Woo. Hey. Got yeah. it. Oh, that's Isn't good. It? Yeah, oh, absolutely. Pear. Pear, bravissima. Oh, she's a really great drinker. Excellent. <laughs> she's an excellent drinker. She's an excellent drinker. Mm. I'm getting banana and pineapple in it. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm. And then now you can taste it, guys. <gasps> oh, this is the best part. Salute. 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 Grazie. Right. You like it very fresh, isn't it? Wow. Oh, I taste the banana. All right. Oh. And you can see that it's very different from your nose to your palate because at your nose, you will not taste the acidity. So at your palate, now you can you know, taste the acidity that make more your salivation in your mouth. Mm. Isn't it? This is the perfect one after truffle hunting. Oh, really. beautiful. This, I would pair this well with truffle hunting. <laughs> <laughs> you have the salami, vernaccio salami, chianti salami, chianti classico. All this combination and then after we will go ahead with the other wines and I will listen which is your favorite combination and which is your favorite wine. Oh, interesting. During your wine tasting you also have our uh, gourmet products on your appetizer we'd love to give you a little bit of our balsamic vinegar 30 years age old oh my gosh i love balsamic there you are. and on the ribolita <laughs> if you like a little bit of a little bit spicy we have our pepper oil no way here you are guys and Thank buon appetito you. okay i will see you in some minutes when you finish okay, everything yeah. okay no, buon appetito Ribolita, three-day-old bread, all vegetables from the garden that have been cooked down for two days. You would think wine tasting is easy. I'm already falling behind. It's my first course and our first round of wine. We're already moving on our set. I gotta hurt. I gotta go. Oh, that you're gonna hate that. <laughs> I think we've realized all of our Tuscan dreams. Now walking between vineyards, meeting the family, and all of the people, all, a lot of the people working here are all family. They said that there's 30 nieces and nephews all here working with Pierre Luigi. He keeps walking by and says, ah, my nephew, my nephew. And we said, is that kind of like, you know, a slang, like my cousin, hey, no, no, it's really my nephew. And this family experience now, delivered with more food than we've ever been served anywhere in Italy and all of this wine we realized maybe let's reflect on this experience now after we've had two glasses of the tasting because three and four are poured and I see five six seven and eight are still yet to be poured if you were to come here and not be filming yourself you could really enjoy Kind of the all-you-can-eat-and-drink Tuscan experience under a beautiful gazebo with a chandelier. This is so indulgent and I think that's what you do in Tuscany. How's it going, gluten-free baby? What a surprise for today, huh? A full gluten-free Italian meal at a winery? Out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. I had zero. Lasagna. Yeah. 
Zero expectation. I cannot believe they offer this. This is, we don't talk about um, me being celiac a lot on this channel, but uh, if you are gluten free, I was really concerned about coming to Italy and it's been pretty easy so far. I, oh, my purse is inside. I actually have breadsticks, gluten free breadsticks inside because I didn't know if we were going to be tasting olive oil. I brought my own breadsticks just in case because I wanted to try the olive oil. And now I've launched into an entire Italian feast that I can't even finish. I'm so, I'm so happy. We came here for the wine, but there is something to be said of a tasting menu and to wind up with this beautiful pairing. She was pouring the white truffle oil on top of our lasagna and pasta and everything is working together. And it's incredible how the food really is making the wine that much better and the wine is making the food that much better. Pork, potatoes, oh, and balsamic. Yes. Look. And buon appetito, guys. Thank you. Thank Grazie. You. Prego. <laughs> I feel like when you give a five-year-old presents on Christmas and they open, 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 it's crazy, it's a frenzy, and they're exhausted and they've opened presents, and then there's that many more to still open. That's me with all this wine and food right now. What happened with this course? Yeah, we weren't expect. I thought lasagna was the main course. There's still meat and potatoes to go, and then dessert. Yeah, great, great, great there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, and this is uh, the, the jewel of the house. It's a 50% of Cabernet Sauvignon and 50% Sangiovese. We won like a championship of wine in New York for this wine, 9.8 points Whoa. in one of the competitions over there in New York 10 years ago. So uh, this is why it's a little jewel of the house. Wow. And this one, guys, stays always three years in the barrel, plus one more in the olive barrel. Why the olive barrel? Because it takes away all the tannin from the wine. The structure is the most hard one in all of these, but you taste it, it seems like juice because it's a really smoothie. Okay? Wow. They just keep getting better and better, so... Oh, that, I am so happy about that. Here you are. Okay, guys, so... Oh, biscotti. No. Oh, beautiful. Now I know that you love the Brunello, so I want to let you try our great selection of the Brunello Reserve. We heard that your aunt designed the label. Yes. Here. Okay. Yeah, she's the one who makes all this. She likes the bling. Yes, she <laughs> likes glitter. She likes Varoski gems and everything. <laughs> so it. you see also the color. How does it change, guys? Yeah, lighter now. Okay. Yeah, this is the reserve. <laughs> We're really trying to do our best on our twelfth tasting, but with dessert comes the Brunello Reserve, the um, one that we saw earlier, the super wine with the family crest, all five grapes. These of course are all older wine, wines aged longer. And then um, possibly one of our favorites, two more glasses of rosé, which apparently in Tuscan culture you take the biscotti, you dip in the rosé. This feels so faux pas, but we were given permission. And Tim, for you, here it comes. In your face. Salute. Oh my gosh, wow. If you like full bodied wine, these just keep getting richer and richer. This is incredible. I think you're onto something. Wait, okay, wait. This would be lower pitch. Okay, let's go up the scale from how we drank it. I'm gonna have to arrange these into notes and then maybe I'll play you a song. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. No, no. No, the only song that we can play is Jaws because we drank so much that we don't have enough steps. We need fuller glasses, but Give they're all, Jaws. all almost empty. Give me okay, Jaws. okay, fine. Give us Jaws. Um, the truffle pigs might eat the truffle. Not the truffles! 
snowboard in Japan. Hopefully they'll have us this winter. We just recently looked Martini in Monaco. Monaco, yes. Yeah. Well, of course, we missed the prince coming here. And we have Incredible. parents riding in the Swiss Alps. So Pierluigi, per favore, una firma. Well, we have wine, wine and dine in, in Tuscany. Tuscany. Beautiful. And today we can cross this. Wine and dine oh, in Tuscany. Grazie mille. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Questo bicchiere di vino Bartolemo Toscana. Grazie for watching this video. But while you're here in Tuscany, there's a little bit more to do. You might see a lot of the Tuscan vacations advertised almost as a day trip down from Florence. We're doing the opposite and we're very excited about our strategy here because we've enjoyed a Tuscan week here on an Airbnb for the same price as probably a small one bedroom in the city of Florence. So this is all our Airbnb. We have probably the one of the best Airbnbs we've ever stayed in for just over $100 a night. We have this entire house and this entire yard, which of course is great for the dog. So enjoying Tuscany all week and then a day trip up to Florence, which is really close. Come on. park down here. It's not easy. There's blue parking spaces for out-of-town visitors. Don't park in the white parking spaces. And guess what? Take the train if you can figure that out instead. Much smarter. Eating by cigarettes. This episode is brought to you by Trip Travel Gear. Trip Travel Gear backpack is great to bring all of your dog's items with you on your day trip to Florence. It was shockingly easy to get up here today. I mean, I thought it was going to be a long drive and very heck easy. And now we're here, and it seems like really small. Just easy to get around in town, easy to where you want to go. Well, and what's that? It's a famous church. Oh, it's a wine festival. Oh, that's a pizza. I don't know a lot about this. I, I, I'm pretty sure it is a chain, so we might be eating at the equivalent of Domino's Pizza here in Italy. And we normally also don't go eat at right under the attraction because it's not the best food. But let me tell you what, this is the largest gluten-free pizza I've ever seen in my life, and stopping to record is killing me. I, this is like handmade crust. I'm, I'm like dying. So to be able to look at the Duomo and eat a pizza is my dream come true, even though this is like the worst tourist faux pas ever. <laughs> I'm so happy.
Natalia. Oh my god, this might as well be the first pizza I've eaten in 10 years. Wow. I remember what pizza tastes like now. Oh my gosh, this is literally the best. I could cry. This is so good. Look at this dough, it like feels like dough. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what else to say. I'm just... just turn the camera off, man. I need to have a moment. Next time on Crossing It Off. This is for the outtakes later. I've been playing uh, three card Monty, move the cups with my glass. I don't, if this is a flight of wine, I'm, I'm a missing airplane right now. I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Honey, what do you think about the oldest grapevine here on this vineyard? Is it nice? 76 years old is like 250 years in dog years, or in human years. What do we think it is in dog years? Too many? I know you're good at math. Well, that says it all. All I know is that this is good that I didn't finish all these glasses. These cups are very large. Bigger de vino.